welcome back to State of Events. You know, I really hate to say it, but it's just been such a down weekend here in the Bay Area for sports fans. Stanford's football team was the only local squad that scored a victory, but there are silver linings to be found in an otherwise dreary week. After falling to 12-3 at Cal State LA, the Gators volleyball team goes for its 13th victory of the season Friday against Trans Bay rival Cal State East Bay. The big thing is a win there would match the Gators' win total from its inaugural season in 08, when Michelle Patton's squad went 13-16 and 16 overall. Two days before their first preseason game, the Warriors are already embroiled in controversy. $66 million man Monte Ellis told the media he can't see himself playing next to first-round pick Stephen Curry. The conflict makes an already full backcourt rotation even more crowded, Ellis and Curry are two of five point guards on the Warriors roster. Cal's football team has its own problems to deal with. The Bears fell 18 spots in the Associated Press coaches poll after a 42-3 drubbing at the hands of Oregon. Heisman hopeful Javid Best was held to under 100 yards for the first time this season. Quarterback Kevin Riley was erratic and the defense couldn't stop anyone. Really a complete loss for Coach Jeff Tedford's squad. However, Cal has no time to lick its wounds. Seven days after their first loss, the Bears will face their toughest opponent of the season. UC Berkeley may be one of the most distinguished schools in the country, but come Saturday, it will be transformed into an epicenter of college football when the 24th ranked Bears host number seven USC in a conference showdown. Uh, it's awesome. It's, it's the biggest game we've had in, uh, in years. It's a home field advantage for the Cal Bears and uh, I hope they can uh, pull it off. Despite disappointing early season losses by both teams, many believe this contest will go a long way to deciding who wins the Pac-10 title, something Cal hasn't captured outright since 1958. It would do wonders for the team, wonders for the community, if they could finally win the, uh, the Pac-10 championship. A win would not only be a big in the eyes of fans, students, and alumni, but it also be a marquee victory for Cal coach Jeff Tedford, who has only beaten Pete Carroll's Trojans once and never at Memorial Stadium. David Saunders, State of Events. While the game has lost some of its national interest, uh, as you know, many predicted it to be a matchup between two undefeated teams, both ranked in the top ten. But you know, a lot of a lot of ranked squads lost this past weekend, and you know that could get Cal right back in the race if they're able to score a victory. Well, let's, let's hope that this coming week is better yes. <laughs> for Cal.